So, and today we've got some rubbers for grinding stone, so can slap that in. Ryan, my brother-in-law, he's sorted that out for the mower, so that's nearly done. Yeah, but first I might drag this out and get the leaf blower on it and clean because it's a fucking mess with grass everywhere and I want to clean it up, grease it, work on it a bit. It just goes everywhere. So today's gone well up until now. We've done this field, field over there, finished off field we was in last night over that way. And we've got a sensor problem and no drive. We've got this one. Which we've traced to this sensor in there but we don't know what the problem with it is I'm guessing it's sensor or a wire somewhere or it could be low voltage but probably not I guess I don't know so Charlie from our local dealer is coming out to uh, see what he can do so update everything went fucking bang we sorted out the fucking faulty sensor, it was a broken wire for the air. Got that fixed. And um, just sort of trying it out again after, just got into the first field, just going around the headland. Fucking saw something in the swath, stopped for it. Oh no, it's just a bloody tiny piece of wood off a bloody tree branch. First one in the headland. I'll be alright, we'll have to stop and just get out and pick that up bloody wood behind anyway, so. Just tap the step on forwards, just ever so gently, and fuck me. Everything fucking exploded. And I shit myself. I shit you not. There's one blade. Chunked. Another blade. Chunked. This one should be straight, and it's not. <laughs> And one fucker disappeared never to be seen again. So fuck knows where that went. Touch wood. Well, we've got a new shear bar over there, but this one might go again. He's got a, you can see, pit there where blade come down, smack. And pit there, blade come down, smack. But he seems straight, the actual shear bar part here is intact the whole way along so hopefully it'll go and fucking somehow at the same time all that went on over here you can get in in there let me just an oil pipe went the fucking drum blew up and an oil pipe went and that fucking oil pipe we replaced last year we replaced that and today didn't go very well but i've got all the blades out and i didn't have a new set in stock so this lot that i changed from maze last year took out just cleaned them up a bit they're gonna have to run on do a bit more but yeah right so back here today got everything off and tidied up last night there's all the nut carriers and plates and 
all that stuff cleaned up and WD and whatnot with all the old blades so they'll be alright to go back on in a minute just uh, got to set the shear bar up now so we can start throwing these blades on and get them all torqued up and then sort of stone out which I only fucking put in yesterday morning so I'll reset that back so it's good for the new blades old blades same thing but yeah so let's get on with that and hopefully later today we'll be going the missus has gone off to that pipe off for her over there goes down so she'll be back hopefully in an hour or so we can put that on as well <sighs> All right. we're not going for a fucking we are going for a new shear bar this one as something's happened over here and it won't line up much sense it's sort of a few mil out where it mounts hopefully it's not an issue I don't know if the bolt the bolt was hit as well so fuck knows what happened there but this side was the side that took the main of the brunt so we've got a new one so If I can be on there, I suppose. I suppose. I don't really know. Well, they said put a new one on. We thought we might be able to get away with this one, but. Don't want to risk it. Before I'd done it, it was a real chunk. You could see down there. And the bolt didn't come out as easy as that side because that side just not that light so that's what we can do right back here next day yesterday got a shear barrel changed i don't quite know what happened i think this side might be slightly bent out you can sort of see where he's pulled a little bit out this side where i see where he's hit got that done all the blades in run up fine tried to do the stone but when I changed it yesterday morning had to pull this pin out because he was seized up and not going in and he holds the whole carriage in place so you can do the job and when I put it back in only put it in by hand must have gone in just a bit too far and it's caught all the threads inside so that's now fucked and stuck Hopefully we can get some bits to sort that out of the day. So new blades put in, my well, old blades haven't been sharpened, but we did chop some grass last night after we spent hours trying to work out why the metal detector wouldn't work. Not a clue, everything on the computer said it worked. Couldn't work it out, nobody could work it out, wrong wrong, god knows how many people, no fucker could work it out. And then we found out the fucking metal detector was upside down. So we turn that back up and it works. Um got out in the field, was happy the metal detector works. We thought, yep, we'll go chop some grass. All went well, apart from where we done this sensor. It won't drive anywhere near right, it's jumpy, you try and go up a hill and it will struggle like fuck. Then you get to the brow of a hill, you don't even need four wheel drive because the fucking thing will stop moving before it spins the wheels. Um, you get to the brow of a hill, it'll be struggling like fuck and then next thing you know you won't be able to stop it and you'll be flying down a swath fucking about to choke up with no trailer next to you because they're a mile behind you. Because they can't keep up because the fucking thing's just driving mad so you know, it's Saturday morning now so hopefully we can get this sorted out and try and get this last lot of grass picked up we did finish the field we was in yesterday that we blew up in the day before um, but yeah it was fucking dangerous we even fucking last night played around the sensor a little bit more 
driven up the road and fucking got stuck trying to go up the hill because it didn't have enough go or anything like shouldn't have been a problem at all but it just couldn't do it on a happier note ryan got the mower back together so something's gone well they're supposed to be going off two mowers today to sort out a well mow off 95 acres for a customer which i've got to pick up on monday which mm, hopefully it'll happen it's not looking great not at all i mean if we can get this thing to drive we can get on today and finish picking up what we've got and then tomorrow, Sunday, hopefully with all the bits are coming today, we can sort out sharpening up so it can be sharpened for Monday. And hopefully that's all our massive collection of problems all solved. But we'll see what happens really. So I'm kind of stuck for what to do this morning. It is half seven. Been there an hour nearly and sort of, well, I'm just going to fuck about do some times because if you were missing um yeah let's we'll see what we can do radio so we're finally going let's quite that up finally going we had a bloke out from crone charlie out from cox's trying to find out what the hell was going on couldn't bloody work it out what the heck's going on and nearly three hours later we found a fuse gone and um, changed the fuse and we're much better now it was stuck in high gear and well yeah trying to pick up grass in a field in high gearing they ain't really built for that so um yeah and then reverse was all the fuck well it never reverses in high gear it only ever reverses in low so that was why it was on a little bit fucked up wouldn't go up hills wouldn't do fuck all. So yeah, we're going now. Finally. <laughs> we, yeah, but it's pretty much hay now. Well, it's not too bad, a bit green still underneath. But yeah, we are finally going. It is now nearly 12 o'clock, Saturday. <laughs> we're finally getting on with the last bit. Six fields to go. Fingers crossed get it done hopefully hopefully that cute little fat there like he's I don't know what he's done with the computer but he spoke very slow and gentle now before it used to whip around like anything and this this is new never had that before see how it goes also it's changed me wheel sizes 50k before <laughs> it was running smaller wheels on the computer so he's done 50k on the road the speedo was all like speedo said 40 we was doing closer to 50 but he's changed that and hopefully lost a bit off the top end but should have a bit more grunt down in the lower end like last year doing maze it was a bit shit sometimes the four wheel drive the back wheels wouldn't really go round you just you'd get stuck you'd like you'd run out of go before you really got stuck and then well you would be stuck so hopefully fingers crossed maze next year we'll have a lot more guts and go so we'll see how it all goes really but for now we're going so uh
didn't fucking explode. We finished. Job done. Tomorrow, need to sort of stone it. But we finished. Oh, bloody brilliant. See you in the next one.